your cries around the problem of crime in Tripoli. We deployed here some time ago. We are aware that there's been a number of role players that came here. The deputy ministers came, the premier was here, and uh, there was deployment from the nine this month. But today, we are increasing that deployment to say we have had the cries we reinforce what we have already that was here. So to get rid of the crime that is terrorizing, those criminals that are terrorizing the community of this area. So we will together with you fight crime and we call upon you, the community, to say, cooperate with the police, give information so that we can deal with those rotten criminals take them to jail where they belong. You have been really harassed, you have been terrorized by young, sometimes by very young boys. And indeed, we are here to give you your resource. And my boy, sir, in the next 24 hours, the worst 48 hours, these communities must sleep properly, must sleep with their doors open. Must sleep, must sleep with their doors open. You must make the difference. I don't want them to be told that we have arrived. I want them to feel that we have arrived. That's why I'm not talking too much. I will allow you to go. This terrorism, this harassment of the community ends now and ends here. You know them, these criminals, are your fathers, are your brothers, are your husbands, are your boyfriends, are your own siblings. You know them. So, don't protect them. If you protect any criminal that you want, we do have some list of them. If you protect Sotati criminally, now nah we. So, just know, you are not going to stand on our way as we deal with it. We are here to sweep. We are here to kill. We are here to chase all criminals. We are here to find them. Find them wherever, in whatever hole flush them out, spray them out, and make sure that this place is free and out of criminals. And the ordinary, innocent, law-abiding citizen, they feel the life and they enjoy the life.